incense. Incense has several different categories, several different products. So incense, you have cones, you have uh, punk sticks, you have long punk sticks. The biggest secret with incense, super strong. You want super strong oil and you want a super strong incense. Uh, when they burn, you want to have a gray smoke. Um, and what I mean by that is if it's too much fragrance, you'll actually see black smoke and soot coming off of them. The other thing is, if it's straight fragrance, it's actually used in the incense, um, it'll actually crumble. You'll be able to take them out of the packages, they look dark, like they're wet, and the punk sticks will actually crumble by themselves. That usually means that they put too much fragrance into the product and they're having problems. Okay, so the basic thing is, you grab 50% fragrance, Fifty percent DPG. This equals the hundred percent mix that equals incense. Okay, so what does that mean? It means you buy a fragrance, and it, it honestly could be almost any fragrance out there. You're going to grab the fragrance, mix it 50% with DPG in a bucket or a container. You're going to mix that up, and then you're going to grab your punk sticks, put them inside the bucket, and let them soak. Now, how long should you let it soak? Well, you can let it soak five minutes, an hour, 24 hours. It's really up to you until you see the really heavy saturation. What makes the difference? the thickness of the fragrance. If the fragrance is really thick, like an Egyptian musk, it's not really going to want to go with the stick. So what you're going to have to do is put it in there, let it soak until it thoroughly saturates into the product. That could take an hour, that could take four hours, that could take eight hours, that could take 12 hours. Then you're going to take it out of the bucket, hang it up and let it dry. Um, it's oil, so does it really completely dry? No. What you're doing is getting the excess oil off of it and letting that drip off the product. Now, if you want it super strong, you can double dip it. Once it's dried, dip it again, a couple hours, 24 hours, hang it back up, and that's called double dipped. Does it saturate more than the first dip? Yes. Is it a night and day difference? I'm not really convinced on that. Um, as you're actually processing and playing around with it, you'll be able to see what works better for you. Uh, but honestly, the original starting point, the stronger the fragrance, the better you are. Here's the other problem that you're up against. You want it super strong, but it also has to be cheap. It's incense, right? So that's kind of where the DPG comes in. A lot of people come up with uh, obsolete inventory, rejects, whatever mixtures they're not selling, and they'll use that as a base to put into the incense. Um, if you notice, incense isn't very clean, so you can't grab like CK1, dip it in incense, and then expect it to smell like CK1. It's going to smell like a light perfume with burnt wood. So Nagachampa, Dragon's Blood, Patchouli, Frankincense, those type of scents that are really heavy and musky, those work great for incense. But something nice and clean, like a woman's perfume or pink sugar or one of these fragrances, do not do good in incense. So you have to realize what product you're making, where it's going to be used, who's going to be buying it, and that decides on what fragrance you want. I don't know of many teenage girls that want a nice, heavy incense burn in their dorm. What they're going to do is they're going to burn something else like, uh, like a cannabis or a Kush or a, a Nagachampa or something like that that just kills the odor in the room. Or they're not going to use incense at all and they're just going to use a strong air freshener. So again, you have to know what market, who you're selling to, um, and so on. Now, one of the other things. Some incense is dyed, right? So you can add a red dye for a dragon's blood or green if you're doing a cannabis or whatever. That's all the marketing side. From the fragrance point of view, strong, cheap fragrance is what you're looking for. Um, mixtures, blends, anything that you can find that's actually strong that will fall into the category works for incense. So incense is kind of a beast of its own. Um, kind of play around with it. A lot of people aren't looking for the exact same thing every time they buy incense. They're just looking for something cheap to burn, cover odor. Uh, any questions? Contact Avi.